Hi, welcome. If you're perimenopausal or postmenopausal and you're waking up with horrible anxiety or heaven forbid, a panic attack, this video is for you. I've made several videos on anxiety and menopause. I'll link them in the description below, but I've yet to talk about morning anxiety. So let's talk about it now. I'm going to touch on what it is, why it occurs when hormones shift in midlife, and what you can do to ameliorate it. So let's jump right in. Morning anxiety involves experiencing many of the symptoms that come with anxiety the minute you wake up. It's labeled morning anxiety, but it can occur very late at night as well. And if you're waking up wired, heart racing, nervous, panicked, breathless, and totally stressed out, you're more than likely suffering with it. Anxiety in general is always horrible, but waking up in that state is brutal and it's a fairly common occurrence in peri and postmenopause. There are a couple of reasons for morning anxiety and the biggest trigger is cortisol. Cortisol naturally rises in the morning to rouse us from sleep and get us going. Normally, estrogen somewhat controls the cortisol spike and gives us just enough to wake us up. But middle-aged women are parting with a good chunk of their estrogen, so cortisol can easily get out of hand and overwhelm the nervous system. Hot flashes are reason number two. They can trigger anxiety all by themselves, wake us up from a sound sleep, and add to cortisol's effects. And many of us are well acquainted with hot flashes, unfortunately. We shouldn't take morning anxiety lying down, ladies. So here are some things that may help ease symptoms if you wake up in an anxious state and others that may help control the cortisol spikes. If you can't control the initial burst of cortisol and subsequent anxiety, you need to focus on deflating it after you wake up. The next few suggestions should help. The main tip is not to dive headfirst into your day. Ease into your morning routine in a way that helps put anxiety on the back burner. This will look different for each of you, obviously, but may include the following. The first is meditation. Breath work before you start your day can be very effective at easing anxiety. If you're one of those ladies who can sit still when anxiety hits, even 10 minutes of belly breathing can help calm the nervous system and start your day off on a more positive note. Number two is exercise. For those of you ladies who can't sit still in the midst of an anxiety attack, including your exercise workout in your morning routine can be very effective at burning off a lot of the excess energy and tension and releasing endorphins to help you feel better. Not too strenuous though, or it may end up having the opposite effect. Next, allow adequate time for tea or a healthy breakfast. Avoid shoving something quickly into your mouth on the way out the door or buying processed or sugar-laden food on the way to the office that may make you feel worse or potentially cause your anxiety to linger in the background all day. Caffeine can have a similar effect, so if you're really attached to your coffee, try decaf and see if that makes a difference. Trying to control the cortisol spikes can also be helpful and can sometimes be achieved by rebalancing hormones and putting estrogen back in charge. This is good news for all of you who are able to use HRT. But if you're like me and HRT is not an option, don't worry, all is not lost. You can rebalance naturally to a certain degree using things like an anti-inflammatory diet, phytoestrogens, ditching the sugar, exercise, stress reduction, vitamins, and sleep. I know sleep sounds impossible when you're waking up anxious and panicked, but finding a way to get adequate sleep consistently can help you feel better in the morning. It's not an easy task, believe me, I know, but it's during sleep that our bodies repair, reorganize, and rejuvenate, and we just simply can't function optimally without it. For many, it means controlling hot flashes that can seriously affect sleep and trigger anxiety, so finding ways to ease these disruptive events is important. Establishing a sleep routine is also a very good way to improve the quality of your sleep. So try getting yourself into a consistent nighttime pattern that works for you. 
I'm sure there are other things that are very helpful in controlling morning anxiety, and I'd love to hear about them. If you have helpful tips that work wonders to control your morning anxiety, or at the very least ease it, share in the comments so we can help as many ladies as possible. Anxiety is so brutal, and waking up in that state and trying to go about your day is frustrating and challenging. I hope you all find ways to control your morning anxiety and your anxiety in general. And I'm wishing you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.